Hey guys, Solomon here. Welcome back to Let's Play Hamtaro Rainbow Rescue. Today we're going to start wrapping up the game. So what I'm going to be doing, I will be revisiting every area, um, likely one area per episode. Uh, for instance, this episode, we're going to Sunny Peak. And basically what it is is that I will do my best to dedicate episodes to particular areas of the game. So like, say for instance, um, we're going through uh, Sunny Peak this episode. Um, this means the videos are probably not going to be perfectly... I'm not going to be trying to push for 15 minutes. It'll be more like, I'll do however long it takes for a section, and afterwards, um, I'll cut off and work on the next episode. Um, but it turns out I was wrong. You don't get the fishing pole from this guy. It turns out I actually missed an area. It's kind of embarrassing. But, I did miss an area, uh, I walked right by it, I completely forgot it was there, so I'm gonna have to pay the price for that, and I'll have to backtrack a little bit for some things, but anyway, uh, I'm gonna also put the, uh, ham hams I put in my party in the description, so you know who I have with me, because for this area I only need two for just showing you some of the interactions you can do with Howie and, uh, uh, Sandy. Um, also, up here, this is one of the gates to the, uh, new rainbow tracks we can take and whatnot, but, well, I don't need to really show you that, but, actually, let's get back and, uh, get these seeds, I don't know. I want the sunflower seeds, because I'm going to be buying quite a bit in the next several series of episodes as I progressively fill out the shops. So let's now climb back up. I'm probably not going to try to go all the way out for every seed out there, so just those that really matter. Anyway, um, we have another pile of trash right here, which we'll clean up with Howdy. So this is why I brought Howdy. Now as for why I brought Sandy, well, um, we'll see that in a second. Oh, you know, technically I think we also, well this is why we need Sandy. She has this, uh, Ability, where when her ribbon is spinning as fast as it can, it acts like a whip. Indiana Jones much? But yeah, I, I, I just now remembered, we also need Pashmina to finish off this uh, one part. Um, this is actually, I think, what I would consider the true reason why I did not get um, the fishing rod earlier. Is I guess I wouldn't have been able to anyway, so... Let's just take a shortcut back over here, so we can reach the first person we can actually, uh, get an invite to. It's right he- it's, uh, right here. This is Marin, and she's pretending to be a chestnut. Um, I really don't understand what her vibe is, but, yeah, so, uh, yeah, there's a place called Rainbow Land, um, I'm sure they have food there, so go ahead. And this is basically what it is. Uh, characters with light or blue names like that, uh, who we've encountered many times throughout the world, we can interact with them and give them invites. So, Marin is the first one I've encountered right now. The next one I want to do, um, give me a second here. Uh, still can't do anything with that guy. I don't know if you can ever do anything with that guy, but it's Cedric. Huzzah! And now, most of the char- now, mo- uh, well I shouldn't say most. About half of the characters whom you can invite, uh, normally you can invite them without any prerequisites, uh, bleh. any prerequisites at all. But Cedric is one of those, uh, other 50% who require you to fulfill another prerequisite before you can actually invite them. In this case, you had to have invited, a uh, Maron before you could have, uh, invited Cedric. Because, if you notice there in our dialogue, we actually mentioned Marin. So, yeah, that, that's just kind of an example of how some of the invites are going to go. Some are just going to go when we talk to them. Others are not. We're going to have to do something first. But, in this area, um, Cedric's the only one who had some prerequisite to do. Instead, we're going to talk with Champoni. Now we're going to talk... Uh, I'm slipping my words here. We're going to talk with Champoni. Oh. Champ... Championi, or... Yeah. Championi. Let's just go with that. And hand out an invitation, and she will be happy to go. Or is it a he? I am not good with, uh, 
hamster gender sometimes here. It's kind of a hard thing for me to do. Alright. And that right there is a rainbow bridge. It will allow us to access one of those extra areas I mentioned. But, you know, I don't want to quite go there yet. We'll save that for when it's a bit more, uh, suitable. So, if we head up the hill here, we can get more sunflower seeds. There's some rocks a uh, boss could break, but I really don't care. Uh, there's that guy with the strange kite. And here we actually have another character to invite, Radar. Yeah, so he's a, again, he does not require any prerequisites, so in addition to what my, uh, um, what my current party setup is for this video, I'm also going to post, um, any hamsters whom I, uh, invite to the Rainbow Theater, as well as any prerequisites they require, if they have any, so I'll just say no prerequisites otherwise. Um, so if we go down here, we can get another Sunflower Seed. And there's only just one more person here we can invite, so now yeah, we'll just pull up a uh, carrier two just for the sake of it. But it's uh, he's right there. It's a uh, Ookook right there. He is the fifth and final person we can recruit here at uh, Sunny Peak. Ookie Ookie, tree climbing, huh? Ookook likes high places. Rainbow Theater is a high place. Therefore, Ukuk must like Rainbow Theater. Well, there's your logic for you. But yay, he's invited. Er, again, gender confusion. But yeah. Now, as for that area I missed, um, some of you might have actually noticed this, and, uh, but, uh, this looks like the end of the line. Well, guess again, look down. There's a break in the grass. I completely missed that, so that's my fault. But yeah, um, we have a stick pole and a fishing pole line, and thus we can uh, get a fishing pole from uh, this guy. This is the actual guy who will make the fishing pole. I was really kind of off earlier when I said it was the other guy, so well, there you go. And we have a kid over here throwing a temper tantrum. But this is why we have Pashmina, because she can, uh, cheer him up. So let's, uh, juggle. And there you go. <laughs> Not only do we get a sticker, but... Well, we get another sticker. Ooh, a level 4 sticker, it seems. I don't think I have that one. But yeah, we get the Sunny Peak Flyer, so now we can access the extra inventory for, uh, Sunny Peak. Well, there you go. And we get a bunch of Sunflower Seeds here. Now, we could just walk all the way around, or we could jump on this raft. So, yeah, let's ride it. This will take us all the way back down the mountain. Uh, basically, right here. Conveniently, next to the uh, elder hamster here, who goes fishing. So, let's, now that we have a fishing rod, let's actually go fish. I think this is the last minigame we can do here in uh, Sunny Peak. Uh, let's see, controls, basically, to fish, you, uh, press A when you get an indication, and then you start tapping B like crazy. Uh, you'll see here in a second. Basically, the way this minigame works is, you get three, uh, chances. When you get an indication, wait for it, you press A, and then you tap B like crazy! We got, like, a bag or something. Anyway, um, your catch does vary from game to game, and it is possible to miss catches, but that's okay. This isn't one of those games that actually rewards you points, per se. Um, it's more like depending on what you actually catch while you're playing the game, depends on what your prizes are at the end. It's, well, we'll get a little, nice little table soon enough that will explain it for us. I do not think there are any special things you can get- well, I'll wait a little bit before I finish that thought. Now, there are some, uh, very big fish that if you're not tapping B immediately, you, uh, pretty much lose them immediately. So yeah, this is our trade list. Basically, if you catch a big fish or a medium fish, you get a medium sticker. If you get a bag, it's one sunflower seed, sandal, one sunflower seed, ball, ten sunflower seeds, 
turtle, three sunflower seeds. And you can play this as many times as you want over and over again. So this is not bad for uh, some rare stickers like level three or four. Although you can always just play mini games over and over that really help you grind up on that. Uh, what was the mini game in this area that's really good at, on that? I don't remember, but yeah, that's a pretty good place to just get stuff if you want. So let's see, let's make sure I got everything here from the normal selection, and now we get to look at the special selection. We can get this picture, Birdhouse Builder, we can get this mat, and we can get another mat, and now let's just proceed to get one of every sticker type here. And there is, uh, well... Let's not spoil things, I'm gonna hold that thought to myself until it's more area suitable, so... Uh, a lot of these things look pretty familiar. That's just... I guess that's a boss giving a bunch of gifts to, uh, Bijou or something. Cappy and, uh, Panda. Nice. A little flower, and... another rose or something. And that's all the items we can buy from this shop. So, that basically finishes up everything we can do here in Sunny Peak. Um, I might have to come back later for maybe some stickers that are exclusive to this area, but other than that, there's nothing really else to get here. This, that's basically it. So, that's it. We've gotten all the, uh, uh, hamsters we can invite here. We've, uh, pretty much cleaned out the rest of the area, so next er next time we will explore a different area. So this is Soul of the Stars, signing off. Have a good day. Uh, go back to the clubhouse. Yes.